Welcome back to a brand new video, Moon Market Family. Happy 2023, happy new year. Let's start the year off right tomorrow and this week trading. We're gonna make it a big week and starting tomorrow, I will be going live with a stock scanner and answering questions on the mic daily, putting out news, putting out information I'm seeing, going live with a stock scanner so we can see everything on the market, all the opportunities in that private discord. Use the link in the top pinned comment. If you want to be there tomorrow morning live with us every single day, and you all know that I'm always out here looking for brand new opportunities in the market. Drop a comment on what stock you personally believe will give the biggest returns in 2023. Now I'm going to start this video with a new stock. I just wanted to put this one on your radar because I think it has massive potential in 2023. Duo, D-U, UUO is a ticker. It's at a $756,000 market cap under 1 million. It was down 32% of the previous trading day at 0 0.0095 under a penny. This is an OTC stock, it has 79 million outstanding shares. This was at 3 cents in September and nearly went back to 3 cents in November of 2022. And it's currently sitting under 1 cents right now. The previous bottom on this one was 0 0.0063. And I believe it's either near the bottom right now or it's actually at the bottom. In my personal opinion, I mean, this is very, very low on the chart. It's a great chart setup, and it's a great setup if we look at the DD here. They own two subsidiaries, Facetone and Dial Desk. Dial Desk was launched in October 2022, and they use Amazon Web Services as its infrastructure provider. In February 2022, a private investor bought 5.7 million shares of Duo at $0.08 cents per share, which is worth $507,000. The current price is now below $0.01. Cent. So we had a private investor invest at $0.08. Cents. Now it's way, way lower than where they invested. They are barely diluting. In 2018, their outstanding share count was $65 million. It's now only 79 million. They've only added 14 million shares in five years. They're trying to keep the share structure very low and the flow very low. Keep it clean with this one. They have posted a few shareholder letters recently because they have developed their flagship product. Joel Trades over here on Twitter expects a new shareholder letter in early 2023. They essentially did a four to five million buyback at a price of one cent. And they did this by paying all of their convertible debt. They have no more convertible debt. They plan to be profitable soon. They are only charging $20 per month for their dial desk service and their competitors like five and nine are charging much more up to a hundred dollars per month. For example, if they're able to get 500,000 users on their platform, that would be 120 million annual revenue. That will take a very long time for them to do that, but it shows the potential that this company has. They are already SEC reporting and they just verified their profile on OTC markets in December, which is always a good sign that the company is going to continue to give shareholders updates and they were previously OTCQB. They just downgraded voluntarily just to save costs before they get this show on the road, in my opinion. At these levels, this is a top watch in 2023. I like this under a penny. Next stock ticker is COSM at a $35 million market cap, $4.56. Had a very strong close on Friday of last week to end off 2022. I'm interested in it this week as a potential swing trade opportunity at these levels, as long as they do not hit us with another offering. I don't expect them to because they just did an offering. It was it would not be wise for them to do another one in my opinion. The market kept 35 million. The float is 5.9 million. They did their last offering at $11.50 per share. The current price is less than half of what they did their offering at. And there's been a lot of trades in the market recently where the stock price would climb back to at least near the previous offering price. And the CEO participated in that offering with $3 million of, dollars of his own money. According to the IR manager, announcements are coming this week. They still have yet to complete two of their acquisitions that they have LOI signed for. That would be huge for this swing opportunity. There will likely be a PR next week that they regain the minimum bid requirement to stay on NASDAQ. So hopefully we get more updates than just this minimum bid requirement achieved. Congrats to anybody who watched my previous video on TGTX 
at $7 per share. It's almost $12 per share now, up a lot since that video. They did end up getting FDA approval and analysts boosted their price targets for this play. I'm still watching TGTX and this did the same thing as, v as VRNA did. We covered TGTX early before FDA approval and VRNA before FDA approval. And these both have been continuing to just climb higher. I don't think TGTX is done yet or VRNA. And I'm gonna be dropping a new video very soon on the next FDA approval stock that I personally think has good potential. So have the notification bell on for that one. Next stock ticker TRKA. I do still believe this has potential even after the recent drop. It's at a 7 million market cap. We have been waiting on a decision from TRKA's blender Blue Torch if they will continue to provide funds for TRKA. And on Friday last week, we got a new filing that the decision will be extended again until January 13th, 2023. So hopefully by January 13th, we're gonna hear if Blue Torch is gonna provide these funds. I personally believe it's more likely that this deal will go through and go in TRKA's favor than not. If the deal was not going to get completed, then I believe they would have told us that by now instead of constantly extending this. I believe they're working at the details with Blue Torch to get the deal done. The main catalyst is to get the deal done and then they buy back the 50 million series E shares, which would be huge for the share price. If they get the Blue Torch deal done and they post their quarter four financials, it could go very well for TRKA. Last quarter, they hit record revenue of 120 million revenue in a single quarter. Their market cap is only 7 million. They gotta get this Blue Torch deal done. If they can do that, it'll be huge. This company can blow up, but if they don't get this deal done, it could be bad for the share price. It is up 15% on the German stock exchange, which is open today. The US market is closed today. So definitely keep an eye on TRKA still. And congrats to anybody who got in on DRMA, which was covered in a recent video at 23 cents. Their catalyst finally hit and it ran 100% on Friday. They filed to withdraw a Form S1, which is dilution. So once they withdrew that, investors gained confidence that they're not gonna dilute in the future since they withdrew the S1 that does cause that dilution. So always look out for news like this. This does create runners in a lot of scenarios that I've seen. Next stock ticker GDVM at a 24 million market cap. I've been talking about this one every single update that the company gives us because it has great potential in my opinion and the merger is coming very soon. The CEO stated this, the certificate of merger has been filed with the state of Delaware. We're currently waiting approval. Once granted, we will begin sharing operational updates and official press releases. So we're gonna be getting press releases on this company very soon about the merger. It's a great merger in my opinion. They're also in the process of selecting reputable members for the board of directors, which would be another catalyst and another PR in my opinion. The incoming company is Vemos, which is a cybersecurity company that is a premier partner with Cisco and has four advanced special specializations, I could see this moving higher leading up to the official merger announcement. There is a chance we see a buy the rumor, sell the news event where people buy, buy, buy leading up to the merger. But once they announce it, it could drop. That may never happen, but I think that is a possibility. Next stock ticker DBGI at a 6.4 million market cap. They completed their acquisition of Sundry, which sent the stock up over 30% in pre-market to $6. But then it ended up going red, closing down 4%, another 2 or 3% and after hours, almost under $4, right around $4.08, I think it closed at. I believe it's gonna either bounce up the 390 support level. If not, if it breaks below 390, I'm gonna be looking for $3.62. I do believe those are good potential bounce plays and swing trade opportunities at those levels. They have an update coming in January that will provide a revenue guidance of Sundry that will be around 20 million revenue because they've told us in the past that they're doing 20 million revenue. So we already know what the, these earnings are gonna look like, very close to it at least. The CEO is confused by the price action. Hi, Hill Davis over here is the CEO on Twitter and he is tweeting. He said, we could sell Sundry for more than our current market cap. The market cap is 6.4 million. So I do believe this is still undervalued. At the right price, it can be a great trade but DBGI has to hold off on that dilution, hold off on those offerings, which is why I always say use a stop loss. And these companies can drop an offering on our head at any point. You gotta be prepared for that. Next stock, right, R-I-T-E. This is an OTC at 0 .0009, triple zero nine play, 3.9 million market cap. I like this one in the triple zero range. Anything above that, I don't know if I would buy at that point. That's just my opinion. We're waiting the news on the major 
downstream acquisition that they've been telling us about. Their main Twitter account liked a tweet asking if this, this PR from ticker CVE was, you know, the, their strategic partnership that they're going to be announcing at any point. Well, the company Mineral Right, they did like this tweet. And this guy was saying, please like this post. If this is a strategic partnership, I found that very, very interesting because uh, CVE is a big company, $36 billion oil company. So hopefully we get an update on this very soon. This is all still speculation, but I found it interesting. It's on their Twitter page. They like the tweet. Next stock ticker GVSI at two cents, basically three cents right now. It's an OTC stock in expert market. So most of my US followers cannot trade this. If you're in Canada, you can trade this in may maybe a few other countries, but it's the most anticipated stock to come out of expert market and get paid current to the point where U.S. investors can trade this. Again, it's highly anticipated for that to happen. They said they foresee becoming pink current within the next few weeks, and that was on December 19th. So I'm thinking that sometime in January, they'll get pink current, just my opinion. They also will cancel a significant portion of the outstanding share count, which is going to be huge. It's speculated that a large merger will take place once they get pink current. This is a George Sharp stock. He did HMBL. It was TSMP. It ran from like triple zero to $7 per share. So this one is crazy. Keep an eye on GVSI. It could be a big merger if, if George Sharp gets a big company merging into this ticker. I mean, a lot of companies out there are probably highly inclined to want to invest or to want to merge into GVSI because you know there's so many investors awaiting what company is going to merge into this shell ticker. So a lot of eyes will get on that company, whoever merges in. Kala, K-A-L-A. -A. This is already up tremendously, but watch for the momentum to potentially continue. And this could be a prime candidate for high volume, those high volume scalps and day trades. If it has a clean break over $42.50 per share, there's really hardly any resistance until $98 per share, but they could easily do an offering next week. So keep an eye out for an offering. But if they don't do an offering, the momentum on this one could continue. The reason they've been running is because they got FDA acceptance and received a $25 million investment. And the current market cap is only right now eight or 57 million. Starting tomorrow, I'm going to be live with a stock scanner in the private discord with the link in the top pin comment answering questions. We're going to be trading live on the mic daily in the private discord. Join that right now. I'll see you there tomorrow morning. Let's get into 2023 on the right foot. Peace.